Hey gang, welcome back. For those of you who just happen to be stumbling upon my video, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. In today's video, I will be talking about the brand Lug, more specifically about one of their newest bags called the Jumper Carry All Tote. I received mine yesterday and this is the color Copper Brown. I was so excited to get this bag. I love the way it looks um, and this thing can hold a ton. So without further ado, let me get right into the bag. First of all, <clears throat> on the bottom, even though it has no plastic wipeable surface, the bottom itself, the material is relatively wipeable and it does have feet. If I can't get the wipeable bottom, I definitely want feet. These are plastic. I do not know if they have a coating or if they are just the solid color. So I don't know if this coating will chip off or what have you, I haven't used it. For that long yet to be able to attest to anything but i do love that these feet coordinate with the hardware and zipper pulls on the bag now the one thing i was a little bit surprised about was that this bag pulled a little bit more orange than i was anticipating but i don't mean that in a bad way it's beautiful there's a beautiful sheen to the fabric and all in all it's very pretty on the back of the bag is a zipper and as always, lug zippers beautifully smooth, no hangups at all. See how the zipper pull, shiny, nice, you know, black. Um, but the zippers themselves coordinate perfectly with the color of the bag, which I really like. It gives her a nice little, I don't know, shishiness to it, in my opinion. Anyway, here it has this really adorable inner print. I'm not sure what that's called, to be perfectly honest. But the other thing I like is it's hooded. So if you wanted to put something that's taller than say what I have in here, which are just two reusable totes, um, if you wanted to put something taller in and tuck it in, that absolutely is a possibility. Um, and then you just close it up and it's safe and secure against your body. You will notice it does have tote handles with the no slip grip, which again, the no slip grip coordinates perfectly with the color of the bag. I like it because it's squishy. It does go over your arm. Some people might prefer a, a longer drop. I don't have much of a problem with this drop. And to be perfectly honest, I'm probably going to use it more this way or in the crook of my arm, as opposed to the crossbody strap. There is a removable crossbody strap, fully adjustable, but I'll get more to that in a minute. The sides of the bag, there are cargo pockets. Now, the nice thing about these cargo pockets, and I have some examples, I just have a water bottle, fits in there, a little bit taller than the bag, but it definitely works. They do have the tucked away magnetic closures, so when you want to not use them, it keeps your bag nice and streamlined. Now, as always, Lug's dedicated cell phone pocket is right in the front it, with the little pull, a hidden magnetic closure. This is as tall as my iPhone. Fits in there no problem with the bag packed and it doesn't gap open or anything like that. You know, one might say, why didn't they do the east-west configuration? But if you look, the cell phone pocket fits very nicely in between where the two handles are. That's why it wouldn't be long enough. So. That's a cell phone pocket. These are kind of the pockets that Lug is known for. I love that these pockets are taller than the other ones, say on the zip liner or the mini puddle jumper or what have you. They're taller, so therefore they can fit more things. So just done this easy access outside flat pocket with the magnetic closure. I just have some mints on the inside of this pocket. I love because of the height of this pocket that I can actually put in my little travel size Lysol standing up. Oh, sorry, clock. Anyway, I can also fit my little nail file standing up and I have a little notebook. So those fit in there. Um, on the other side, in this pocket, I just have little band-aids and things like that. Just little easy access items. You know, you could put anything in them really. They, even though they don't have their own gusset, they actually um, stretch out a little bit. So you can fit, you know, more than just super slim profile items. And then on the inside of this pocket, I just have Tylenol and things like that. And let me tell you, I have little scissors. You guys ever want the best purse accessory ever? Little scissors that fold. These things I have used more times than I can tell you. You just get them at Walmart for a couple bucks. They're all metal. I have never used anything in my purse as much as I use these. They're not lug related. Just thought I'd throw it in there. Anyway. Back on, the back. And on the inside, look at how spacious this bag is on the inside. It is insane. So first off, let me just take out the stuff in the main part and then I'll get to the pockets. I have a splits 
XL. Here's my little A6 personal planner. It's relatively thick, that fits in here, it's no problem. I could even stand both those items up, but it just makes for a little weird packing, so I don't really do it, so I have them laying down. And then I have my Vera Bradley food journal, that fits in, no problem. And I still have tons of space. Now, this is a little Vera Bradley pouch. This is where I'm actually keeping the crossbody strap, and I will show you. So it is a wonderfully adjustable crossbody strap, beautiful, obviously matches the bag completely. Um, not a problem, completely adjustable, wonderful. My personal preference though are the thicker straps. I wish this had the inch and the half width that the other straps that you can purchase separately have. This one is a little on the thinner side, it's only about an inch. It's not uncomfortable, but it's not totally comfortable. Um, I think the thicker strap distributes weight a little bit more evenly therefore making it a more comfortable strap. But this definitely works. I did use it yesterday as a crossbody. Again, though, I prefer uh, as a tote, but I'm keeping it in the bag, you know, so that when I do want to be completely hands-free, I'll have it available to me. Um, on the back side, you have a partially fleece-lined pocket. So the back is not fleece-lined, but the front is. So if you wanted to put in sunglasses or readers or what have you, you could do that. I actually have a little pouch that I keep some little tchotchkes in uh, by Badalini, which fits very nicely and it doesn't scratch up my little leg. Now, awesome, awesome, so exciting. This one has pen slots. I love that. So you get two pen slots, I have my lug pen in there, and you get the key bungee. I have my husband's spare keys on here. Also in the interior, I just threw in my keys. They do not get lost because you could just see everything once you open this bag. I mean, look at how wide that thing opens. It's huge. Anyway, and on the front, you have your clear view pocket with the beautiful contrasting um, trim for the zipper. And in there, I just have all my phone uh, accoutrement. Anyway, so that's it. That is the bag. It's really well organized, very, very spacious. I know some people will want to use this as a work tote. So I am going to point out a few things. First of all, it's just a standard plastic folder. I, you cannot fit this in here. It doesn't work. So therefore I don't think even a manila folder would be able to fit in there. Now I'm sure you can put in like an iPad mini or a Kindle for sure you can put in here. Um, but as far as like just folders and things like that, not really. I don't see spiral notebooks being able to fit in here. You can also put in your sprinkle. I have the leopard brown sprinkle that can fit in there if you so choose and it can also stick in the side pockets. Although for me, it, I don't know, it sticks up a little bit too much, but in a pinch, it'll definitely work. So those are just a few examples of what can fit. Um, again, I also like to use the D-rings to attach my heart pouch with my antiseptic wipes. And then I do have a little hand sanitizer, which I attach to the other D-ring. That's it. I love everything about it. I definitely will be carrying it um, as an everyday bag. I hope you all enjoyed this video. That, that's all I have to say. I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.